cooking Christmas dinner and spending the holiday together is something Fire Station 53 does every year. But this year, they invited some special guests. There are no words to express our, uh, our gratitude. If it wasn't for them, it would be a different Christmas. Just days ago, you would have seen six-year-old Nadia Vargo in a hospital gown. It's, um, it's definitely been the worst situation I've, I've had to experience, yes. She's been there for the past month recovering after 90% of her body was severely injured from a vicious dog attack. The constant reminder when doing bandage changes and, and uh, having to bathe her. And a reminder for Nadia's father and a reminder for the firefighters who responded that day. We were all taken aback by the extent of these injuries that she had. IFD first received reports that the scene was unsafe. I was kind of torn between because there's protocol that we follow in a six-year-old. But these brave men and women decided to break protocol. Because it's a child and because all of us are our parents, that's what hit us the most. One firefighter was able to distract the two Rottweilers who were attacking the little girl by making noises. Joke with me, I was sounding like a Bigfoot or a Sasquatch. And to this day, I don't know what noise it made and I don't think I could make that noise again. How did you think to do that? I didn't think, I just reacted. Despite their brave actions, they call Nadia the true hero. They like them. Whose strength pushed her through and is now alive today. Well, if it weren't for these guys, I wouldn't have my my little girl right now. I can't thank you guys enough. And you just did your job. Did my job. Do it all over again. Stephanie Wade. You're a present. RTV6. It is great to see them all together today.